Moving on to keyboard shortcuts in Photoshop. Edit. Keyboard shortcuts. Or Shift Alt Command K. Now in our menu here, this is where you set all of your keyboard shortcuts or your hotkeys for all the different tools, all the different panels, and the different applications. Let's start with the tools. So the tools are everything that's in the toolbox here. So your marquee, your move tool, etc. You can change these and edit them right here. Under shortcut, click on the box here and you could enter whatever shortcut that you want for the move tool. So say you want B. Now what happens is that Photoshop will warn you if the shortcut is already in use by another tool. Now the tricky part in Photoshop is that most of everything is set with a shortcut. So you have to be very mindful about what you're setting and what you might be overriding um, that you don't know about. The good thing is that Photoshop will tell you this. So on the bottom it gives you the warning that says B is already in use and will be removed from the brush tool, pencil tool, etc. if accepted. So if you want to accept it, go ahead and hit the accept button. Let's move down to the single row and the single column. Now these aren't even entered. They are under the same pullout from the marquee. So if we go ahead and put M in there, and M in there, and accept that, and I'm going to switch this back to the Move tool, and accept that. So if we exit out of here really quick, we see that single row and single column got added in. And those are now accessible through our Shift M. So you can see there's the single and the single row, single column. Going back to our shortcuts, we're going to move on to the panel menus. The workflow for setting up a shortcut is exactly the same way as doing it for the tools. The panel menus is about controlling all of the different panels that we have on the right or wherever you might have them. So the channels, layers, you can see that we will find those in here, channels and the layers and all the different functions that they do that you could set up with a shortcut. Now I'm going to leave you this, this to you guys to set this up for yourself. You know how to set the shortcuts. Again, you would just open it up and click on under the shortcut and click the, the box and you would pop in your shortcut and it gives you instructions down here too in case you get lost or whatever. The cool thing about all your shortcuts is the summarize button here. So if you hit summarize and go to a folder and we're just going to save out a summary of all the shortcuts that we set. I'll call this Dave's test. I'm going to save this and replace it. So I'm going to go to that folder. Oh, it actually just opens it automatically. What Photoshop does is create this little um, sheet for you that has all your shortcuts put in it, which is pretty handy if you forget. Um, but let's go back to Photoshop and go back to our hotkeys and go into the application menus. Now again, it's the exact same workflow. You have your summarize button, but here you could control your menu bar. So under the Photoshop here, you've got your preferences, your generals. Under, under file, you've got your new, open, so on and so forth. So again, here is where you can edit all of your shortcuts for the menu bar. And that's pretty much it for the keyboard shortcuts. So let's move on to the menus. Going into the menu tab, the menu tab deals with all of the options for the menu bar. Now if we look under our file menu, we can see that we have new, open, browse and bridge, etc. And under the application menus here, under our file, we have new, open, browse and bridge, etc. Now what we can do here is customize the visibility of the menus and customize the color of them. So say we don't want new, open, or browse and bridge. We can turn off the visibility for each one of these. And let's hit OK and go under File. You now see that they are gone. So jumping back in, we can turn those back on and they will show up again. Now say we want to change the color for these. If we click on this, you can see that there's a couple of color choices. 
could do red, orange, yellow. Going back to the file menu, you'll see that the colors are not displayed. Now, if you remember from the preferences, these need to be turned on actually in the preferences. So we'll get out of here and let's go into preferences. Now under the interface tab, now show menu colors is the option that allows you to display the menu colors that we just set under the menus tab. So let's turn this on, let's hit OK, and now let's look at our file. Now we have our red, orange, and yellow. So it's a little tricky there, but that's how you set that up. So let's look at our panel menus. Now our panels on the side here, all of them have a drop down on the top right that has a menu. And we could see that there's new layer, duplicate layer, delete layer, so on and so forth. Now in here, let's go down to our layers, open that up, and you could see that we have new layer, duplicate layer, delete layer, so on and so forth. Now again, this works exactly the same way with the visibility. You could turn these off and you could set their color. So if we hit OK and look at our menu, you could see that now those menu items have been removed from the menu. Going back, you have to go to menus, panel menus, go back to layers, which is slightly annoying. Could turn those back on. And then we could set the color red orange, yellow, hit OK, go to the menu, red, orange, yellow. But that's pretty much a quick overview of the keyboard shortcuts in the menus in Photoshop. If you ever have trouble, down at the bottom here, it gives you some tips and some hints. You could figure it out from there. It's pretty straightforward.